Hello my friends and hello dear artist community. I'm Trevor Kutcher and today I want you to introduce to Chatani. Chatani is a free software which is useful to control lighting, video, audio and kinetic stuff. Everything it's, you might be nodding around with and you can put it together to create a theatrical play, an art or music performance or even a corporate event. So. You can find Chatani under the following URL here. If you might find that a bit difficult to yes remember, try this in your browser, Chatani software, and the first entry is just right, and we are back where we started. So probably you want to download it. Press downloads. Then you find every compiled release and it's for every relevant or S on the market, even Linux and Raspberry Pi, just to mention it. And now we emulate how it feels like to start Chitani on the first time. You will see this beautiful um, welcome screen. You can go to the online tutorials or read the documentation. You can start the inbuilt tutorial which we will do together now just to see if we came along or you can donate to the creator Ben Kuperberg and because it's free it, he needs a bit of money. So now we start the guide together. You go to guides getting started. So it tells you what we want to do and yes Chatani is connecting inputs to outputs and manipulating data. So let's go. First, modules. Modules are the heart of the system. Modules are things you get data from, like MIDI controller, MIDI devices. Um, lighting desks also send data in form of ArtNet or DMX. Or a hardware. A hardware is even a piece of data. And a, yes, a um, keyboard. So, and let's go. Now we have to create a keyboard button and we get to the green plus and the green plus appears often in Chatani and you can add a new one if you see the screen plus. So it's the same OE and logic everywhere. Presses hardware and now the keyboard. Now we go to the inspector panel. The inspector panel is shown so everything you have last clicked on and what you show. It might not be the hardware module, even a condition or something you programmed, you can see there and can read out everything which is stored there. Very similar to other softwares in the market like MaxMSP or maybe Universe. So now we have our hardware keyboard uh, in inspector panel and you can see the last key I pressed and here it's just fine so now you see it in live here and now we want to get further and get us in condition we need our second module what we want to control here so please add a new module and it's hardware sound device so you can see everything you want to see. It's a Windows audio device with a driver. I know it's an issue and I want a speaker and not the NVIDIA card, which comes up because I have a monitor or a recording device connected just to see. And next step. So now let's come to the connection. We go to the state machine. Here there are also the dashboard, the module router and the morpher but we go to the state machine and add, and we want to add a state. And here's the state, and the state is an empty frame for your logic. Why you need an empty frame, you apply logic. It's simple, if you think of a theatrical play where you have multiple conditions like simple rules in the first act, every time the actor claps, you want to hear a horse sound. Every time the actor stumps, you want a cowbell. In the second act, 
you have for each of this action, maybe for the clap, a bird sound. So, but if you have a frame, you can enable and disable multiple conditions and actions simultaneously, which are attached to the act. So one thing, and this is why you have the frame, and it's more even to logic than to program it by hand. So we add an action. An action is called something like if then logic. So this is called an action in Chitani and you will get along with this. Now you get to the last key. We can do it by hand. We get keyboards, last key, and then it equals maybe we press the L button. So L and done. But for this example, we want the button P. So we can also go to learn. No, learn is not available now. And we make P, enter. And now we can sing, I can show you the learn. Go to learn and J. Too late, but if you click learn and then it's it's okay. And every time you press the P, the condition lights up green, which means it's true. Yes, P is pressed. So let's go further. Now we attach the thing we want to achieve if P is pressed. So the if true rule. And it's an audio file. I, you have to send the play audio file on the sound card module and then attach an audio file. In the commentary of the YouTube video, you will find the link with a sound file just to make it easier for you not to crave for an, an audio file on something. But yeah, if you have a clean Mac or PC, you can start right along. And we use this honk sound. And now, every time I press B, you will hear the honk. So, which is cool. So, now we are done with the first step into Chitani. And maybe you liked it, and we can see further tutorials of Chitani. Thank you, and have fun.